Hi, I'm Joni. And I'm Donnie. And for the next few minutes, we're going to talk about something called moral injury. And I, I had a conversation with you, Joni. I wasn't 100% sure exactly what it was. So you want to explain it and then we'll talk about it. Sure. Um, this is what is experienced by those that are that are in a helping role, those who feel like they're living out a calling um, to either save or protect people. Mm -hmm. And they, um, in their mind, fail to save or protect from, let's say, a violent uh, situation. So police officers, firemen, nurses, related doctors nurses, yes. would be up front? Yes. Yeah, okay. So explain exactly what you mean by the injury. What's the injury part of a moral injury? It's a soul wound. I think that's the best way to to describe it. And and why it becomes a problem is is it holds hands with post traumatic stress. Um, oftentimes mm -hmm. it gets um, kind of by the wayside when somebody is. So if all the markers don't fit uh, PTSD, <laughs> then uh, we don't go the layer below. Absolutely. And it really is like they can overlap. And I, I, I think we're going to have actually a graphic to also be able to share along with mm -hmm. this that shows how they overlap, but also shows how they're different. So if somebody is experiencing uh, the, the anxiety and the depression and the isolation, and they've just um, went through something like they coming back from the war or whatever. Yeah. But they don't have the hyper vigilance. A and, flashbacks and, and, and all things that, like that. Then you don't, you know, you don't have PTSD. So part of it could be that I am caring for you and I'm doing the very best I can, but something bad happens. And then I walk away blaming myself yes. when I've done everything that I've been trained to do. Absolutely. So, but in my so mind, I put that on myself. Yes. In my mind, I, I have put that responsibility onto me. Um, and, and the reason why we're talking about it inside, um, the church is because it does have a faith component. Like it messes with our belief system and what we feel like we've been called to do. Okay. And you know, I, when you first mentioned it to me, I, I said, I think I've experienced that. As a counselor, I was counseling this guy and it seemed like everything was going really well. Mm -hmm. uh, he had been talking about end of life things. And so we had tried to talk through some of those and eventually he took his own life. Yeah. And I believe it threw, it, it really threw me for a loop for a while. Absolutely. Uh, because I felt, I felt like I didn't do my job. Yes. Yes. Uh, when I'd done everything I'd been trained like to do. do. Yeah. Like we have to remember that other people have their own sense of agency. Like they can make their own decisions. We're not not going to be able to. Yes, that's well said. Or that it's just medically impossible. Mm -hmm. Or somebody else's free will takes somebody's. And that's not my fault if I'm a police officer. Right. Absolutely. Uh, but like I, feel, still carry that. I still feel like I could have done more Absolutely. or if I would have, if I would have done this, if I would have done that. And it's not new. I mean, this thing has been around. They've been able to research it all the way back to the to the Greeks in ancient times, being able to to address this. But it, it caught a little traction, um, especially with those coming back from Vietnam. Um, they noticed this, but it still hasn't been able to have its own um, really defined um, as far as like trying to treat or whatever. Okay. So if we're dealing with this, what can we do? How do we, how do we manage this um, if we feel this? Well, I, I think and it, it makes me smile when I think about, um, you know, the whole idea of somebody will say, Hey, make this shareable on Facebook or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's what I want to say. Make the shareable, um, share this stuff. Um, one of the problems is, is that we are isolating and we're holding this in. Hmm. We're not sharing this out loud. So I could be going through this and not really know what I'm going through. Absolutely. That, because it's been mislabeled. Yeah. Or I or I see it as a character defect. And so I just think it's it's me. Like it's something So the me. world will just say get over it. Absolutely. Bootstrap it. Yeah. Get over it. Uh but it doesn't work that way. No. Yeah. Hey, we're really glad you joined us. Obviously, we're not going to solve this in a few minutes, but uh, thanks for joining us. I love you and I'll see you soon.